Welcome to Nicholas LMX12. In this quick comparison video today, I'd like to compare the new NVIDIA GTX 1070 graphics card with the AMD R9 Fury X as well as R9 Fury GPUs. Yes, I know that's a bit of an unfair comparison, but I for sure know many will be asking for that one. So I made that one right away. Now, as you may know, the NVIDIA GTX 1070 is an entirely new graphics card. AMD's R9 Fury X and Fury cards, on the other hand, have been out for a year or so. We have yet to wait for AMD to release their new GPUs to the market. And once they hit the market or I manage to get a sample for quick tests, count on me doing those benchmarks for you. Although prices could drop any time, right now the GTX 1070 costs more than the R9 Fury. The Fury X, however, does cost more than the GTX 1070. So let's jump into the benchmarks. The NVIDIA GTX 1070 does outperform the other two GPUs for sure, but to my surprise, performance-wise, these older AMD cards hold up quite nicely. All that needs to be adjusted now, in my opinion, is pricing. Of course, as I've probably said often enough in the past already, it's totally not worth getting the more expensive R9 Fury X. Get the standard Fury if you want to go with AMD. The temperatures on the R9 Fury X as well as Fury are very good. However, the R9 Fury is not actually the reference design. The Fury X is, but features a closed loop water cooler which of course leads to those lower temperatures. The GTX 1070 was a reference model I've tested, therefore runs fairly hot compared to AMD's models. When it comes to power consumption though, the GTX 1070 really blows the two AMD GPUs away. That must be expected since NVIDIA's Pascal GPUs are based on the 16 nanometer process, whereas AMD's Fury X and Fury cards are based on the older 28 nanometer process. Both the R9 Fury X and Fury feature 4 gigabytes of the very fast HBM VRAM. The GTX 1070 comes with 8 gigabytes, but with GDDR5 memory instead. So for now, 4 gigabytes may be enough, but I seriously fear that amount could soon not be enough anymore with games evolving so fast these days and requiring more and more VRAM. At the time of this video, I'm not sure which graphics card has the better price performance ratio. It's either the GTX 1070 or the R9 Fury, but I tend to call the 1070 the winner here, even though the Fury does a great job keeping up. What do you think? Yes, it's a bit unfair. I I can't wait to see how AMD's new graphics cards will perform. I'm hoping for a good comeback. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos there earlier.